To begin, click on the Start menu. Then, click on Settings. All right, over to the left, we're going to click on Accounts. Okay, once here, you're going to scroll down until you see Other Users. All right, here you will see existing user accounts. All right, and to add an additional account, we're going to come over here and click Add Account. So here you're being asked to provide either an email address or a phone number of the person you want to add. However, this assumes that they already have a Microsoft account, such as Microsoft 365 or an Xbox account. If they don't already have a Microsoft account, you can click on, I don't have this person's sign-in information. Here, they're giving you an opportunity to actually create a Microsoft account. If you'd like to, you can go ahead and do that. It costs nothing. However, if you prefer to just create an account that doesn't require an additional email address or an existing Microsoft account, you can click add a user without a Microsoft account. I'll go ahead and do that in this example. Okay, here now all I need to do is provide a username and create a password and enter that password two times. For the username, it will simply be Forrest, the name of the family member that I'm creating the account for. And remember when creating a password, be sure to use something complex that's not easy to guess. Here you get an opportunity to create security questions that will help you retrieve your password in case you forget it. We'll go ahead and fill these out. Okay, once that's done, I'll click Next. Okay, and now the account is created. So the next step is to go ahead and log on to this account. We're going to go down to our Windows Start menu. We're going to click on the existing account name here. And here you can see we can either sign out or we can click the More menu and select the user name that we'd like to log in as, in this case, Forrest. 